I'm trying to find a way to get on this bridge because the, where there is those uh, black pillars behind the bridge, there is a barge that can take you across the bridge, but it costs two euros. So I'm trying to f assess if I can, uh, I can cross this bridge with the bike. A little detour because I don't want to pay two euros. I can't believe there are still uh, countries where they charge for crossing a fucking river, man. Especially Germany and now France. For fuck's sake. Look at these donkeys, they're really suffering. Why can't they shave them? Today is 33 degrees, 35 degrees, something like that. So these animals are really struggling. I hope it's not uh, forbidden for the bikes to, to go on the bridge. Finally, there is a turn off. It is a nice shoulder to begin with. Okay, I dodged the turn off and there is a fucking bike lane. Imagine that. And they wanted to charge me two euros. Two fucking euros when there is a bridge with the bike lane. Are you mad? Look at this. Even without the bike lane, I would have crossed the river anyway. Today I'm actually gonna be hosted by a lady that uh, traveled uh, a long time, a few times with a, with a friend of mine, Maurizio. And their videos of uh, when they were in the Salar de Uni in Bolivia were pretty viral on social media. It was them uh, cycling on a giant uh, mirror basically. the longest straight dirt road I ever done in a very very long time. I think it's six kilometers long. There's a dirt road for uh, cars on uh, on the left hand side as far as I can tell and uh, there is a canal or a little river on the right. I'm starting to think that Kamut has invested it's a sort of uh, paid transportation ETF. Because there's another bridge. And again, Kamut wanted to make me cross the bridge with a pain barge. So yeah, fuck you Kamut. I had to detour like six, six or seven kilometers on top of the bridge on the very top I'm with Patricia and uh, she's a warm shower host and she's a friend of uh, Maurizio and uh, she traveled a long time all over the world and now she's hosting me and she made a cooked oyster and it's the first time I eat cooked oyster. And I think I only had raw oyster once in my life. Uh, so let's try that. Yeah. How is it? They're really good. Yeah, perfect. But they're really good, actually. Why can't you now So everywhere you? around here, they, they farm uh, oysters. Yeah. Le long de la Sudre, not 
along the ocean, yeah. but along the river. Okay. That's why you can find along the river, like pools, in which they put the oysters inside, and uh, the water is mixed with uh, sweet water and salty water. Ah, okay, they mix it. Yeah, they mix it. Good morning, it's almost midday. Almost yeah, because I took my time and I added some pictures and some videos and I'm leaving Patricia. She was such a lovely host mm -hmm. and uh, she cook oyster, she cook beautiful meals and uh, really nice breakfast. So sadly, yeah. I'll say goodbye, but we will meet on the road. Yeah, you're always traveling. Sure, uh, yeah. we will yeah. bump into each other on the Silk Route somewhere in Asia. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. America again, maybe yeah. for you. Merci yeah. beaucoup. Avec plaisir. <laughs> Give us a hug. All the best. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, time to hit the road. I just left Patricia, 500 meter, and already on this uh, nice dirt road. Well, nice. Lots of grass. Rumbo Bordeaux. Let's see. Let's see what's the adventure. I should be there tomorrow. So two days is luck. Take the next right. Sunflowers. Young sunflowers. a bit vegetation here and there but yeah at least it's it's in the shade it's uh it's quite sandy so it's not very fast but it's nice it's better than the paved road no Let me check where I have to go. It's becoming uh, wilder and wilder. All right, straight. These things are growing everywhere. And uh, yeah, we just have to go through. Clearly, not many people. Went through this truck, I guess. Yeah, something is stuck in my wheels, clearly. I'm not sure if at some point I will arrive to a place where I'm not able to continue. Let me check the map. How long is this bit? Yeah, it's quite a while, but you know, a few hundred meters and then I have the option. There should be a dirt road, a proper dirt road. Let's see, I'll probably have to backtrack, but at this stage, let's fully commit. Fuck it. When the trail you're supposed to follow has, hasn't been used in like a few hundred years. Adventure. at its best. Okay, let's follow this trail for a while and then I should get to a, 
a big uh, dirt road. We are back on uh, some sort of civilization. Now oh, this is a problem for fuck's sake. Fucking hell. I think I'm inside a campsite. How the fuck do I leave this place? Let's, uh, let's sneak out somehow. Quite slow, but yeah, only the 15 kilometers. Even here the water is quite brown. Not sure I would like to go on vacation in a place where the water looks like this, but I guess different people, different needs. But finally this fucking ferry, it's four euro. Four euros. Should be in ten minutes. There is a noise, but I can't understand where it comes from. To be honest, I was hoping for a bit of dirt, but it's okay. It's uh, there is this bike lane next to the next to an old uh, railway. It's good. Very hot and very slow today. I can do some progress towards Bordeaux before I camp. I'm about uh, 70 kilometers from Bordeaux at the moment. 65. But I'm not sure exactly where my my host lives, so it could be even maybe 20 more so and tomorrow i would like to get there early because i need to go to a bike shop and try to find uh, replacement bearings for my front hub let's see if i took the right decision to to get this rod because it's quite sandy but soon i will just uh, find a place to camp it's uh, I'm getting a bit tired and it's uh, 20 past nine. Look at the deer. Hello, buddy. trying to see if there was a, a bigger patch without grass, just sand where I could put my tent. 
Let's keep going a little bit and then uh, maybe here. Yeah. I think that's it. Tonight we're gonna be a bit humid with loads of bugs. But yeah, this is uh, this is my campsite for the night. that I need for the night. I'm gonna have a melon and some food. Either I'll make some pasta or uh, something like that. Good night, guys. Good morning. It's time to go. Look at this. I pack up my tent. Leave no trace. Let's go. <laughs> Stop for uh, for a cook in this uh, little shop, my bike, and uh, you always get loads of help everywhere when you when you're uh, on a bike tour. And I went into the shop and I bought a coke because I wanted like a cold drink. And then I saw that she had a tap, and I went outside. I got my clink until two liter bottle. And I ask if I could uh, fill up my water bottle, like it's normal. And she's like, no, you have to buy the water I sell. I'm almost to Bordeaux, Bordeaux center. I stopped half an hour to have uh, some fruit. I bought a, a melon at the market and uh, yeah, but I keep going, usually I, I, I stop like two hours when it's this hot, but I'm only 10 kilometers from my house, so I keep going. I arrive in Bordeaux in the siesta time, so I think the bike shops are not gonna be open. We'll see, I'll check out a couple of ones. If I see some on my way, but yeah. Slow entry into Bordeaux. Look at this. People are having fun. I wonder if I can cycle that as well. Maybe not. Bonsoir. Because we are in Bordeaux. Bonsoir, David. Uh, Gilles and Martin. Warm shower host. And we are having French dinner, and uh, we are having melon with pork. Porto. Porto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. It's very tasty. <laughs> Finally, a French dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so this is duck, and uh, this is um, courgette. courgette. Gratin de courgette. Gratin de courgette. Gratin de courgette. courgette. And it's uh, it's as good as it sounds. Que nous avons fait pousser. Oui. Que avons nos son euh, homemade. Son homemade. Home, homegrown. Oui. From the garden. Et ça le vin c'est du pêche charmant. C'est Bergerac. Bergerac. Bergerac pêche charmant. Bergerac pêche charmant. Very good. That's what we're drinking. <laughs> 